The earth functions as an animate being. The earth is alive and its heart is pumping and beating and we have a role to play in protecting and supporting the functions of the earth. We've got huge oceans, green landscapes, deserts, mountains, clouds of every single type you can imagine, beautiful sunsets. And they're all beautiful varieties of what our earth has to offer. So I think the major problems we have today are interrelated issues around population, climate change, um, and energy use. Generally, you can see that uh, the major challenge in the world include environmental degradation as a result of inadequate protection of the environment by the government, by the private sector, and by people themselves. Greed and power and the distribution of wealth globally and the inequitable distribution of wealth between poor and rich communities. It's the same uh, tension between the haves and have-nots. Uh, the, the tension comes down to values and the fact that many of us have very different uh, values. I see that politicians don't have the courage to make big decisions, I see that as one of the greatest challenges that we have. The Sustainable Development Goals are really a, it's, it's a global collaboration to set objectives that we want to reach um, as, a, as a global society. They're an overarching um, kind of vision for how we'd like to see the world and kind of a roadmap of how we could get there. So thinking about both um, some of the social problems that we have, some of the environmental and obviously how those link up together. They're things that governments can use uh, when setting their own national policies uh, and things that researchers can think about as they're uh, trying to solve these, these grand challenges. The idea is uh, that we have to set an agenda for transformations at multiple scales and an agenda for transformation that is respective of local cultures uh, and that combines the new thinking and technologies that are emerging with old practices. So this, there is not a simple formula. There is an understanding that uh, we need faster and faster change and many levels that is inclusive and sensitive of different worldviews and ways of being in the planet. This conference is part of a, a good step in the right direction. At the end of the day, emphasis now place on environment and climate change in the world. So the debate is uh, increasing on what uh, should be done to ensure protection of the environment in order to secure the future of everybody in the world. One of the things that, for example, the scientific community can do is to, to carry the voices of those who are not heard as part of the knowledge base that we create to give advice to, to governments, for example. I mean, we're talking in the context of science policy here at this conference, and I think it's important to recognise that we as scientists also have a responsibility in the way in which we not only portray their knowledge and their opinions and their concerns and needs and wants um, in the research outputs we produce, but also to carry that message uh, as part of any policy advice that results as part of our research. You know, the role of a scientist in general is to typically go so deep on a, a subject and for a policymaker, they have to look at a million different issues and they have to also consider more than just the scientific context or just the facts, they need a lot of the social context as well. They're making value judgments whereas scientists are coming up with uh, new scientific understanding or, or facts and so putting the two together can be very complicated. 
I think a lot of the time science can work on issues that aren't of national importance. So really being um, approaching decision makers and finding out what are these issues that you'd like to understand better and I think that's a strong role where science can, can have a huge impact. But I think for the two to really understand what each other is doing, I think it involves honestly interaction. It has to be actual interaction. It can't just be um, hearing this is what policymakers want or this is what scientists do. You really need the two together at, at some level um, to really sort of bridge that gap. So my name is Krista Hazenkope. I'm a Senior American Institute of Physics State Department Fellow. I'm Stephen Hoffinson. I'm a Design Engineer. Uh, my name is Nadia Titas and I'm based at a Science Council in South Africa. It's the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. My name is Akim Ayofe Akimwale. I'm a Senior Lecturer in the Department of Industrial Relations and Personnel Management, University of Lagos. I'm Carolina Adler. I work as a research fellow and lecturer at ETH Zurich in Switzerland. My name is Leopoldo. I live in Santa Catarina. It's a state in south of Brazil and I'm working with ocean governance and issues around the coast. My name is Samir Doshi and I work on sustainability and poverty alleviation for the US government. I'm Catherine Bowen. I'm from Australia and I'm a social epidemiologist. 